Welcome to historic Renfrew Park here in Adams, Massachusetts for tonight's high school football matchup between the Belchertown Orioles and the Hoosick Valley Hurricanes. Hi, I'm Tim Morey alongside of my sidekick and analyst Don Wright for tonight's matchup between the Orioles who come in to this contest with a record of two wins and three losses. Hoosick Valley, the very young squad, with a record of one and four. And Don, this Hoosick Valley team, people who have not watched them this year, they are extremely young, very young. Absolutely. I would have to say the youngest squad Hoosick's ever put on the field. There's, um, I think, one senior, one junior, and the rest are freshmen, sophomores, and a couple eighth graders. So, um, yeah, they're one and three. You said Belcher Towns, or one and four, Belcher Towns two and three. They have one common opponent. Both, both got beat by East Hampton, 28 to nothing. So uh, we're, we're hoping and expecting for a, a good ball game tonight. It should be a really competitive contest uh, between these two teams, Don, as you said. Uh, the captain's out at the center of the field, and Hoosick Valley has won the toss, and they will receive uh, the opening kickoff. And we're going to apologize uh, right here at the outset. We really don't have a much of a lineup for the Belchertown Orioles, so um, we're going to try to fill that in as the game goes along. Uh, so you're just going to have to bear with us. Uh, but, Don, these two teams have had common opponents, uh, and uh, they've fared equally uh, the same with respect to both of them. They both played East Hampton, for example. Both uh, got beat by East Hampton 28 to nothing. So this should be a really competitive contest for both of these teams. And we're going to pause now for the playing of our national anthem. Hoosick Valley Band with our rendition of the National Anthem and we're just about ready for the opening kickoff. The officials out at the center of the field. You know, Tim, with the Hurricanes being so young, one of the things they do need to clean up is the mistakes and you expect mistakes when you're as young as they are. Uh, but I, I think we... Uh, um, we heard earlier when they played East Hampton, a 28 nothing game, but they turned the ball over six times. You know, a senior-laden team is not going to win a game turning the ball over that much. So right. one of the things we're looking out for tonight is can the Hurricanes clean it up and uh, limit the miscues. And Don, uh, having coached in the youth uh, ranks uh, here uh, in Adams for several years, you can recognize some of these young men who are out here today and especially we have uh number five quanel bradley just a freshman exciting exciting ball player yeah there's the, like you said most of these kids underclassmen um but very exciting players um as they get older um they do the right thing stick together uh this this team can be uh very successful in the future okay so on the short kick Hoosick valley will take over 
first and 10 uh, at their own 44 yard line. And first series of this contest, the opening moments of this high school matchup between Belchertown and Hoosick Valley. And Will Hakes in motion to give up the middle to Bradley. And Bradley runs ahead. He may have gotten a couple yards. It's a, for a young team, Don, uh, Hoosick Valley has a fairly uh, uh, good-sized line. Yeah, um, we've got a few kids over in, in there that are easily 200 pounds. Um, you know, and they, as we as stated earlier, the, the backfield, there's some athletes back there. So see how they do uh, getting to the edge here. Um, I think that's where they could possibly uh, have mismatches. Okay, it's ball on the kill. ground. And it's covered, I believe, by Hoosick Valley. And that's something that this young... Hoosick Valley team is going to have to stay away from Donnie making those kind of mistakes. And quarterback number two, Kamar Kastner, um, uh, he recovered that that uh, that fumble there. So now you're looking at third and 11. Can't have these situations. Okay, so it's now third, third and 11 for Hoosick Valley, a passing situation here. Opening moments here, the first quarter of this contest. No score, first possession for the Hurricanes. You got it. And Kastner swings it out into the flat, and he's got a receiver out there. And I'll get the number on that. The pass is complete. It's a pickup of about seven yards, and that'll be out to midfield, near midfield, but it's a punting situation for Hoosick Valley. And I think that pass was to uh, number 27, Caden Tatro. I think he's uh, yes. the junior. Okay, fourth and four for Hoosick Valley. And uh, that ball spotted just short of midfield. Looks like a punting situation for the Hurricanes. And again, we have to let you know that we don't really have too many of the names and numbers of this Belchertown Orioles squad. And there's a flag on the play. And it looks like that's going to go against Uzik Valley. They broke the huddle with 12 players. Right. So a five-yard penalty backs it up uh, to the 45-yard line. 9.38 here in this opening quarter. No score. <clears throat> Just getting underway here at Runfrew Park in Adams. And Kastner doing the punting. Oh, a nice punt here. End over end. It's going to roll out and down. That's going to be inside the 20-yard line down to about near the 14-yard line. So a good pump there by Kastner for Hoosick Valley down. Very good. Didn't put it down the sideline so the, uh, the return man didn't have a chance to return the ball. Um, but talked about the miscues. In the first series, you had, you had a fumbled snap and you had a, a break in the huddle with 12 men. You got to clean those up. Griffin Mucci in the middle on defense for Hoosick Valley. Very talented young man, sophomore. And Hoosick Valley there, nothing get doing for Belchertown. I think uh, looks like 27, Tatro, yep. and three, Will Hakes involved in that tackle. Under center for the Orioles is Landon Andre. In the backfield, their primary back, number two, Josh Grillo. And Andre getting some instructions from the sideline. It'll uh, bring up a second down and 11. There was a loss of one on the play. And here's some. To this side. There is, oh, nice play. Oh. There is Daskum, Chris Daskum for. Tackled by number four, 
Yeah, that's, yeah. let's so, see, we'll get that. that. We'll get that number, I believe it is. Uh, yes, Joe Campbell, number four, four was a Valley. And when we say the na names of these players, yeah, again, you can basically assume that they are freshmen and or sophomores for Uzik Valley. So we got third. Bright, bright future for the Hurricanes. Okay, third down and eight. Man in motion is Grillo. QB keep. And they're going to stop him, so it's going to bring up a punting situation for Belchertown. Good defensive stand there by Uzik Valley. Yeah, we mentioned Quanell Bradley in the uh, pregame. Um, he was uh, the lead tackler on that one. And he'll actually, he'll go back and uh, potentially return the punt here. All right, Will Hakes will be the up back. Quanell Bradley will be deep. It's a fourth down and a sixth situation for the Orioles. They're deep in their own territory, so they're going to punt it. And they get, away, get it away. Bradley. Oh, fumbles it. He fumbles it, and Belchertown will take over at the 39-yard line. So they're going to get the ball back. And, again, something we talked about, young team trying to avoid those miscues. No score here. Seven minutes and ten seconds to go in this first quarter of play. Northern Berkshire Community Television bringing you High school football here from Renfu Park. Cute piece. Yeah. yeah. That's Grillo. And Stopped by 51. And yeah. On the tackle there. Caden Tatro, number 27. And I'm not sure. Ja Jaquan Vasquez, number 51. In the middle of that action for Husik Valley on the defensive side. Up front, it's Vasquez. And number 75. That's Lance Witted. Lance Witted. Same, pretty much same play and here. And Grillo, he's got some running room, and he's going to have a first down. Nice hard run there by Josh Grillo for Belchertown. And it's going to be first and 10 for the Orioles down to the Hoosick Valley 44-yard line. Inside the 45 here. They're on the move. Coming out quickly. And direct snap. To timeout. Grillo, but Hoosick Valley calls a timeout. And I think, I think Bost, Bostwick, he wanted to get his squad set there defensively, Dan. Yeah, he had a uh, quick huddle and uh, they got up to the ball quickly. And uh, I don't think Hoosick was ready. Band is back together here <laughs> for another year of high school sports. Northern Berkshire Community Television, our director. For tonight, cameraman Peter Gentile on very short notice able to put this broadcast together as usual. We've been at it a long time here. Actually, I believe this is our 14th year, 14th year of high school football. And who'll ever remember, who'll ever forget our inaugural event up at Hoosick <laughs> Valley. It was about, about eight degrees. It's colder every year. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And there is Andre into the flat to Grillo. The pass is complete, and he's tackled. He's going to be short of a first down. Nice throw there uh, by uh, Landon Andre, the quarterback for uh, Belchertown, number seven. And that's a pickup of eight. Brings up a second down and two. Beautiful night here uh, for high school football. Beautiful. Crisp and cool. And here's Andre again looking over the middle. Oh, oh threw it behind the intended receiver coming up on the play for the Hurricanes. That was Kareem uh, Was number six, Griffin Mucci and Kareem Kastner. Mucci was there as well. We got third and two. See if they can come up with a stop here. It's like a little tackle and over And direct, here. and that's going to go up. Oh, oh, nice, nice tackle, tackle yeah, there by Quanell Bradley. Oh, he came up hard, Don, and made a beautiful tackle. And maybe a pickup 
of a yard on a play. Brings up a fourth, fourth and one here. This is big play here early on in this ball game. So it, looked, it looked as though Belchertown had a tackle over on this side and they ran away from it. Um, let's just see if they come up with that again. No. Nope. Hmm. may have been wrong on that. Oh, some motion. Get back. Oh, there's a bad snap. And oh, Belchertown has to cover it. it and that's going to turn take the over ball the over. That's going to turn the ball over to. Uzik Valley on downs at midfield. There was a lot of movement, but really no penalty down. No, it looked like uh, someone on the left side of that Huzik defense may have came across, but uh, not sure. He must have got back because they didn't throw the flag. So it's first and 10 now for Huzik Valley. Again, their second possession of this ball game, and they're at midfield. Just I think Kuzik, if they're going to have success, it's going to be in the outside run game. And direct snap there on the sweep. He's got some running room. Oh, nice run there by Caden Tatro, number 27. And that's going to be enough for a first down. He gets it all the way down to the... Belcher Town, 36 yard line, where it'll be another first down for Hoosick Valley. Nice run there yeah. on a direct snap down. Yeah, so the Hurricanes split out uh, quarterback Maureen Kastner, and it was a direct snap right to Tatro and picked up about 15, as you said. Okay, first and 10. Okay. Same play this side. Flag on the play. Tatro's going to run this side. He's got the corner. He could go all the way. He's going to be knocked out near the 10 yard line, but there's a flag on the play. I believe there's some motion. Yeah, this looks like it's going to come back. And, and Tatro picked up a good block on, yes. the, on the edge there by Griffin Mucci. Yeah, it's it's going to come back. Procedure penalty against the Hurricanes. That, that's a that's a big penalty here for the Hurricanes. As it turns out to be about a 40-yard penalty. Oh, Tatro, yeah, he was all the way down inside the 10-yard line on that run. So it comes all the way back. And the ball will be spotted at the... 41 yard line of Belchertown where it will be a first down and 15 for Hoosick Valley. Six. Kamari and Kastner split out to the bottom of your screen here. Direct snap again to Techo. He's going to go over the left side. Not a lot of running room this time. He's going to pick up two or three, but Belchertown had that one pretty well defense. All right, second down now and 13 for Hoosick Valley. 3.54 to go in this opening period of play. No score here at Renfrew Park. Tim Mori alongside of Don Wright and our producer Peter Gentile bringing you high school football. Tight formation here for Hoosick Valley. Almost had another bad uh, handoff yeah. here. That was Griffin Mucci on the carry. Picked up about two. Yeah, it brings it third and ten now. This is, in, I believe, would be in four down territory with the ball spotted down at the 37 yard line of Belchertown. Beautiful evening for high school football. Being brought to you by Northern Berkshire Community Television. And Casta swings the ball to the flat. It's caught by Tatro. He stays on his feet. 
flag out here. There's a flag out. Offsides. On the outside. Some movement. So we'll see. Yeah. And illegal procedure again for Hoosick Valley and another five yard penalty. So penalties are starting to rack up here for Hoosick Valley. And again, very important for them to try to, pl to, try to play mistake free football. They've had some issues uh, this season with mistakes and, and fumbles and penalties. So important for them to play a clean game here. Again, when you're this young, you, you're expecting mistakes. You just have to limit them the best, best you can. But as you've seen, you just had one penalty resulted in about a 40 yard change in uh, direction here. All right. Trips out here. Trips at the bottom of your screen. Bradley down the middle. Right down the middle, it's complete wall throw ball to Bradley. Bradley stays on his feet, and he's going to be down to about the 12-yard line. Well-thrown ball there. Yeah, Kastner to Bradley. and uh, By Kastner. Back down, like you said, back down to about the 11, looks like they're lining him up at. Don, do you, is uh, uh, Mr. Kastner a freshman or a sophomore? He's a freshman. Oh, wow, boy, he throws a nice ball. That was a well-thrown ball by Kastner. Caught Bradley right in the middle of the field, and he was off. So it's first and 10 for Hoosick Valley, down at the 11-yard line of Belchertown. And here's the hand, another, another penalty down. Now we'll see what this penalty is. It's going to be procedure again against Hoosick Valley. And those are killers. Those are killers. With 2.11 to go here in this first quarter of play. So just to give you an idea of, of the age, just in her backfield, the quarterback's a freshman, the fullback's a sophomore, the um, tailback there, the tailback Bradley, he's a freshman. He's a freshman, Tatro's a junior, and Wick, the wideout, is a freshman as well. Very, very young hurricane squad for Coach Mike Boswick. The future very bright for the Hurricanes. You know, if you look at the scores, they've, there's really only been one game that they've been out of, and that was that was against Northampton, the season opening game. Right. I think they gave it 44 to six. Northampton's proving to be a pretty good team. Um, but the other games, um, they've been in. Um, but similar tonight, a lot of mistakes. Okay, it's going to be a first and 15 with the ball out to the 16-yard line. Now, Music Valley can get another first down if they get it down to the one-yard line. So it's first and 15 for Music Valley at the Belchertown 16-yard line. All right, Kastner. Takes a direct snap, gives it to Bradley. Going to try to bust it outside. He brings it up the middle, stays on his feet, and is in for the touchdown. Oh, that was a hard run there by Quanal Bradley, the freshman. Then he looked like he was going to bounce it outside, and then he just ran it up. He cut it back up, and uh, looks like he didn't get touched till about the two, three yard line, and he just carried the tackler, the would-be tackler, to the end zone. Nice run. So Hoosick Valley draws first blood here with 2.02 to go in the first quarter. Cornell Bradley with the 16-yard touchdown run. Going for two here. Going for two. Give to Bradley, up the middle, he's got it. He walks untouched. in uncontested. Nice blocking up front on that right side. He went in untouched. And so, with 2.02 to go in this first quarter, Huzik Valley leads it here, eight nothing. And that has a, to be a nice momentum builder for the Hurricanes. Yeah, they, uh, they they shot themselves in the foot a few times, but they came back and answered each time. So, um, nice drive. 
Six successful two-point conversion, so they're sitting there at eight nothing. Two minutes left in the first quarter. All right, Hoosick Valley will kick off now. And doing the kitchen, kicking is Griffin Mucci, number six. Back deep for Belchertown. Josh Grillo and Chris Dascom. Here we go. And nice kick, end over end. It's going to drop down at the, picked up at the 25 yard line by Dascom. Stays on That's his turn. And he is bulls ahead to about the 46 yard line. Nice run there by Dascom for Belchertown. He was hit. Back at about the 35-yard line, he picked up another 10, 11 yards down. Yeah, carried a couple uh, tacklers and uh, <laughs> nice return, putting him right around the 45-yard line. Good starting position for him. I don't see how Belchertown responds to that hurricane touchdown here. Come on now. Come on, All right, direct snap, counter there to Dascom. Daskum bounces off a of one and nice continues to stay on his feet and crosses midfield. Good run there by Daskum. He's had two good runs in a row for, for Belchertown. Uh, ball will be spotted at midfield. Yeah, Pick up a five. Did a lot of that on his own. He broke about four tackles. And this time it's Grillo. And nothing there. Some good surge there by that defensive front for the Hurricanes. Number seven, Ryan Holland was in on the action. Number 70. He kinda number six got some good, up, pre good number, penetration. Number number sixty came up hard. Um, yeah, that's Lance, that's position. Lance Witted, number sixty. We're under a minute to go here, and there's some movement. I think there could be an offside. Be yeah, Huzik. it's going to go against Huzik. That'll be a five-yard penalty. And that'll bring it down to the 46-yard line of Huzik Valley. Another five yards, so that makes it third and a long one for, Huzik, for Belchertown here. 35 seconds to go in this opening quarter. And Roll out. Oh, he's got a receiver. Out. Deep. He's had somebody deep. He's going to tuck it down. He's hit on the on the sideline. He had somebody deep. Don? Yeah, number three got behind the uh, defender. Um, but he uh, what? looks like he picked up the first down. Right. Oh, they're gonna, he looks. Yeah, they're going to give him a first down there. Is Landon Andre tucked it down, and he took a real smack there on the sidelines, but he had enough for the first down. So it's first and 10, and that's gonna be uh, the final play of this first quarter of play. See if they get the play off before the end of the quarter here. And they don't, Ooh, don't so that's enough. gonna do it for the first quarter of play here at Renfrew Park. The score after one quarter is Hoosick Valley eight and Belchertown nothing. And Really, uh, besides, you know, the mistakes, the penalties, and the fumbles, et cetera, you know, Hoosick Valley was able to move the ball when they didn't, you know, turn the ball over and or have any penalties. And so, well, I think offensively going forward, Hurricanes seem to have, I mentioned it earlier, they have an advantage on the outside. Um, I, think, I think they've got a little bit of quickness over Belchertown. Um, on the other hand, I think Belchertown is uh, a little more physical up front. Um, so we'll see what what happens going forward. We got 
First and 10 from the 44 going in. Yeah, it's a new set of downs for the Orioles. The ball spotted at the Hoosick Valley 44. Sweep. And it's sweep, nice but there it Tatro. is. That penetration by Tatro. Oh, nice play there by the junior, Caden Tatro. He's having a nice game for Hoosick Valley down. Yes. Had a couple nice runs and made a couple nice plays on the de defensive side of the ball. Loss of four on the play. The back is, backs it up uh, to the 49 yard line. Hoosick Valley brings up a second down and 14. And Andre Landon. Got some room on the back. outside. He's got some land, but they come up quick. And he's going to bring it down the sidelines. He's going to pick up some yardage there. Pick up. Knocked out at the 40 yard line. So he picked up seven yards on the play. Nice run. And it brings up a third down and seven for Belchertown. Ball spotted at the Hoosick Valley. And he finished, 40 he yard finished line. that run strong, too. He. Uh, he came up and he wasn't taking the hit. He gave it that time. Have to hold the, the right side of that defensive, or the, yeah, the right side of the Hoosick defensive line kind of got sucked inside and had no one out there. Oh, you got a mistake here. Bad. Snap, and he's going to be dropped for the loss all the way back at midfield. He dropped the snap. And Bradley came in and dropped him for a loss. That's a big loss. Loss of uh, seven yards. So it's going to bring up again a fourth and 14. And a punny situation really here for Belcher Town, I think. Don, I want to try to pin Hoosick Valley deep. I, I agree with you. I think if it was uh, a fourth and five or less, maybe you go for it. You're, you're on the positive side of the field. But I think if I'm Belcher Town, I'm booting this one. Trying to pin him back. That's why we're up here. That's exactly <laughs> why we're up here. Okay. Back, the long pass, it is. Good coverage. Not covered, so it'll turn the ball over on downs, and Bradley had good coverage there Game's for Uzik Valley. Over. The pass falls incomplete, and Uzik Valley will take over on downs. At their 49-yard line, where it'll be first and 10. 10-19 10, to go here in the first half. So my my thinking on that one is you got you got a young music team. You've seen they they're prone to a lot of mistakes, a lot of penalties, um, some miscues with some snaps. Um, pin them deep, make them earn their way out of there. And now you're giving them the ball at the 50. Okay, first and ten for Huzik. Let the go. And Kastner on the give to Bradley. Not much there. Maybe a pickup of a couple yards on the play. He brings up now second down and eight. Yeah, tough yardage up through there. Yeah, he runs hard for a freshman, Don. You know, you have to remember these young men are very young. Freshmen, sophomores for the most part, so. I think Belcher Town's got a little bit of a size advantage in, in the middle there, and it's proven to be uh, tough running. Let's see if we get a sweep this side. And Tatro trying to get That's wide. Good. He's going to get wide. He's going to cut oh. it up, and he's going to be near the first down, down near the 40 yard line. We'll see. Back on. And we're back here. So you're gonna have third and about less than a yard. <laughs> and tight. Get right up to the middle of Bradley. 
Bradley's going to surge ahead, picks up about three yards on the carry down to the 37 yard line of Belcher Town. It's more than enough for the first down. And a new set of downs for the Hurricanes. Hurricanes have a nice drive going here, Don. Snap and Kastner has to drop on it at the 40 yard line. It'll be a loss of three. And again, those mistakes, they're yep. very, very important in a game like this. And that one, I think you got to chalk up to the uh, the snap. It looked like it hit him right up off the feet. Now it gives him a second and 14. Covered up by Kastner again, and this is all the way back now to the 48 yard line. So, a couple of miscues here have Luzic Valley way back, third and a mile. They're at the 49 yard line, their own 49. They have to get it down to the 27 yard line. Well, it's third and 24 for Lusick Valley. Come on now, find the ball! Again, Kastner under center. Pitches wide to Tatro. Tatro looks like he's gonna try to swing wide, got some room, and he's ridden out of bounds. Good pickup, good run there. Picked up about what, 11? All right, now some decision time for Coach Boswick here, Don. Well, I'm up here again, but I'm gonna say I'm kicking it. I'm gonna... Give him a long field. I'm gonna know. pin him down there and... <laughs> Defense has been, been playing fairly well for the Hurricanes. And Kastner evades the rush. Looks down the field to Bradley. In and out of his hands, down at the 25 yard line. Again, a very well thrown ball on the run by Kastner. And now, ball will turn over to Belchertown on downs. Very impressed with Kastner's uh, arm here. Down. He throws a nice ball. Yeah, and he's throwing it. Uh, as our good friend Butch would say, he's, throw, he's throwing that one across his body. Yes. And he's <laughs> hated it. Absolutely. Always talked about <laughs> plays where they would roll out left and throw right. Oh, boy. Four o'clock management. Four. <laughs> yes, four o'clock management. We're, that's right. Our good friend Butch Parrott. Nine yard gain there. Eight or an eight, eight yard gain. Yep, nice gain there on the first down. Brings it right to midfield. So the Orioles with 6.55 to go here in the first half. You want that big momentum swing. Um, come out first play after after stopping Hurricanes on four downs and right. picked up eight or nine. Now they and got a first. And run right up the middle. That's a first down. They are tough. Hard run there up in the middle by Josh Grillo. And that's another first down. And moves the chains for Belchertown with 6.42 to go here in this first half. Stays on his feet, 
And gang tackled at the 42 yard line. Bunch of hurricanes in there on that one. Good penetration by that front four, the hurricanes, the defensive front. And that defensive front there, Matt Wittick, number 74. Lance Wittick, Lance Wittick, number Lance 75. Wittick. And Mr. Here's and stays on his feet. Nice run there by Dascom, Chris Dascom. Enough for the first down. Well, good tough run by him. He uh, he still didn't go down by the end of the run and uh, and uh, left a few in his wake on, on the way there. Down to the 32-yard line. So up front you got Jake Holland. I think he's the only senior, and then. At the DN, you got Tatro, who's been having a good game. All right. And Dascom. Again, nice hard run. Up the middle. And pick up uh, about four yards on the play. Brings up a second down and six with the ball spotted down at the 27 yard line for the Orioles. Five minutes to go here in this first half. With the score, Hoosick Valley eight and Belchertown nothing. And in motion, option the other way. And there's a flag a, now on the play. You're gonna get a hold here. Grillo. Good tough run again. Yeah. Picked up the first, but I think that's coming back. Yeah, it, there was a flag, yeah. Thrown in the area of holding. So. Well, the key is when they throw the flag at an offensive lineman, it's a pretty good chance. It's a hole. <laughs> yes. Are you speaking from experience? Yeah. <laughs> you had a few flags thrown at you <laughs> over the years? Yeah, never throw it at the defensive backs, never throw it at the running backs, but the lineman they throw the flag at. You get no respect. All right. Backing it up now. Oh. All the way back to the 37-yard line. Brings up a second down and 15. And Andre yeah. deep a, into the sideline. Oh, that pass cover. almost caught. Not bad coverage. Had a step on him, but and if the Hurricanes, if you didn't think they could get any younger, it looks like they got number 55. Yeah, number Libano, 50. eighth grader. Yeah, Ian Libano, an eighth grader, number 55 out there. And I do believe there's an, another eighth grader out there. Ben, number 10. Yep, Ben Payton. Yep. They keep getting younger and younger. <laughs> oh, another bad snap. Two. Jailbreak here for Hoosick Valley. Way to string him out. And Dascom. Dascom can't get away from the rush. And he's knocked out at the 49-yard line. That'll back up. Belchertown brings up a fourth down and a mile. And again here, Don, I would, even with 4.15 to go, I would punt boot this it, ball. Boot it, pin him And deep. try to make a defensive stop and pin Hoosick Valley back deep and get some field position. Again, you're dealing with a, a very young team. All right. A lot of miscues. Pin them deep and make them... They're gonna go for it. And he's back, looking deep, looking deep. He's airing it out over the top. Yeah. Caught for the touchdown. No, they're gonna mark him short. Down at the one yard line. That's why we're up here, Tim. That's why we're up here, <laughs> it's right, yes. Landon Andre, the quarterback for Belchertown, he really aired that out. Great, great catch there. Receiver, receiver was covered, so. And there's a quick snap to Andre. Be stuffed. They stuffed them. It looked like uh, Caden Tatro. Yeah, Tatro, number 27, was in on the action. Number 50, number, trying to get the up numbers there. here. Number 55, lost the, Ian Libano was in lost there. The, yeah, oh, lost. they didn't score. No, they did not score, they lost. 
They lost a yard on that play. Brings up now second down and goal from the three yard line. I thought that was a two point conversion there. No, it wasn't. And, and it looks like he's short Stop. again. Just short of the goal line. Reached out. Well, they're short, so. Music Valley with a stiffening resistance here again. Quick snap. Direct snap. To, to Grillo, and he's gonna get in there. Great he's in for the out. touchdown. Josh Great. Grillo with a second effort. He was stopped once, but he stayed on his feet and lunged into the end zone for the one yard touchdown run for Grillo, and that makes the score. Hoosick Valley eight and Belcher Town six. And walk in. there it is. He walked in. So with 2.55 to go here, Belcher Town and Hoosick Valley are tied at eight apiece. And big play there was that long 40 yard pass from. Landon Andre, he connected on that one. It was a big play, so we're tied at eight apiece here. Eight to eight with 2.55 to go here in the first half. Belcher Town will kick off again. Bradley and Hakes back deep. Yeah, Hakes and Bradley back deep. For Hurricanes. Short uh -oh. kick, and that's going to be Get down. picked Get up. Down. Get down. <laughs> picked up on the play. Oh, whoa, what? You don't want to be standing off the, the, the. Joe Campbell, number four, received the kickoff for Usyk Valley. Yeah, you don't want to. There's two choices there. Yeah, you yeah. get down. Yeah, or, or you, run. You do, or you do oh, the yeah. uh, fair right. catch. So Ozick Valley will take over at the 49 yard line with 2.52 to go here. And let's see if they can get something mounted. Closing moments of this first half of action. That could have been a disaster. Yes, right it could have. I mean, they, 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 Belcher Town could have lit them up. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, they didn't. That they, was. They held up. Well, again, another young mistake. A lot of movement there by Hoosick Ferry. That's going to go back. Too much movement there. Too many people. Too many people in motion. All well, he needs one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Well, they had several. So that's a five yard penalty. First and 15 here now. Perkins have had a lot of luck with the direct snap to Tatro. Right. Sweep right or left. There's a long pass down the sidelines. He's got him! And it's complete. To number 12, Aiden Wick, also a freshman. Yes, number 12, beautiful throw there by Kastner to the freshman. Number 12, Aiden Wicks. And Hoosick Valley has a first down, down at the 31 yard line of Belchertown. Approaching the two minute mark. Passes out into the flats to Techo. Got room and a block out front. Nice block by yes, it stays on his feet. And he's going to be inside the 20. Nice block there by number four, Joe Campbell. Down. Gives some running room to Techo. So with a minute 51 to go, Hoosick Valley on the march. 
here. They're threatening again. And down got, to the 19 yard line. They got to pay attention to that clock now. You're down to under 145. I think they're in good shape on their timeouts, but. Kessner gonna keep it himself. Looks like he's gonna be able to bounce it outside. And there's a, play, a, flag, and a flag on the outside. Looks like it's gonna be a hold on the outside. So that's gonna bring this one back 10 yards. Looked like it, Kastner had some running room there for a moment. He just, Delta Town kept stretching him out and we'll be looking at a first and 20. First and 20 is right. But they Ball. gotta remember the clock is running here. So you gotta yep. have a little urgency with your Minute offense. 10 to go here in the first half. Ball spot at the 26 yard line. Mucci, Mucci oh, up the middle, the and Good he run. is bulls ahead inside the twenty-yard line. Coach Boswick yes. will use a timeout. Here. Yeah, timeout here. And the ball is going to go marked all the way down to the fourteen-yard line. Uh, Belcher Town brings up the second down and seven. Nice run there by Mucci. Had a little something off tackle there. Picked up what about thirteen? Yes, he like. did. I'm not sure what the timeout situation is, but. That clock could become a factor here. It could be with 55 seconds to go here in the first half. We're, we're tied at eight apiece in a really competitive ball game between Belcher Town and Hoosick Valley. What we were thinking it was going to be, um, and it came as we thought. Yep. As advertised. Come on, Eli, press them. Here we go. Here we go. So you got second and about seven. Looks like there's. <laughs> and Bradley split wide to the bottom of your screen sweep, here. Sweep, sweep. Sweep there. On the outside by, by Tetro. Oh, you know, it's and it's going to come back. He got in, and I think they're going to call a hold out here. Yeah, it's hold on Bradley. Yeah. yeah, they called on Bradley. I don't know about that, Danny. Of course, it was right in front of the official there, so. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. That's, you know. <laughs> You said you're out in wide open space. Well, that's going to come back. That's a spot foul, so. Ball will get marked down at the, all the way back now. Clock Goes out running. to the 21-yard line and the clock running. Uh-oh. And Kessner throws it to the end zone, and it's picked off in the end zone with 29 seconds to go here in the first half. He went for everything there on that one. Good and coverage by number seven, the yeah. quarterback there. Oh. So it didn't get into the end zone, so it looks like he's going to take over at about the one. Right, with 29 seconds to go here. Well, Belcher Town want to try to kill this off here. They are pinned deep. 29 seconds. And our cameraman and producer, Pete Gentiles, had a busy day here today. He was covering soccer, I believe, up at Drury <laughs> at McCann, okay? And then he zipped right over here. Got set up for this one. Our inaugural broadcast of the 2022 high school football season. Of course, it won't be long 
Leaves are falling off the leaves. We'll be covering high school basketball action and, of course, our weekly show, High School Basketball Weekly. With yours truly and Rick Boa, High School Basketball Weekly on Northern Berkshire Community Television. All right, 29 seconds to go now here in the first half. And Belchertown, they're going to receive the kick in the second half, so they'd be wise to just... Well, tough to take a knee because they're so deep right. there. Pass is caught over the middle. There they are, throwing it with a... Boy, I'll tell you. They didn't waste any time. That's a first down. Pass complete, and they, they're looking to try to score. They're not willing to, they're not satisfied to sit on this. And a ball out into the flat, and it's incomplete. Boy, these are dangerous plays here. Deep in your own territory. Belcher Town is. Well, like you said, they're receiving the ball in the second half. You know, textbook would tell you, take a knee. That's what it would tell you, but it... And Andre back to pass. He's going to be sacked on the play by Uzik Valley. And that was Caden Tatro. That was Caden Tatro. He's having a fine, fine game for Uzik Valley. And that's going to do it here for the first half as Belchertown is going to let this clock run out. They do. And we're at halftime here at Renfrew Park in Adams. The score at halftime is Belchertown 8 and Uzik Valley 8 down in a really competitive game. Both teams move the ball had their share of mistakes and penalties to kill off drives. But uh, uh, this is going to be a game, I think, that's going to go right down to the wire. And it's it, ultimately it's going to come down to who makes the least mistakes now. Um, like you said, a lot of shooting themselves in the foot, both sides. Right. Right. And right now we're going to stay... We're going to stay with the action here at halftime. We've got a little bit of a ceremony we want to uh, tune into. Music Valley. The players are at midfield here. We want to listen in here. Thank you. 
the friend you can rely on. He is compassionate, loyal, strong, funny, giving, and a protector. His physical size and strength were dwarfed by his kind heart. His passion for his family and friends would manifest itself through his everyday actions. Friends recall how he would drop everything and be there for that person no matter what. Brian would be there for anyone who called on him. This kind of care and compassion off the field was in stark contrast to Brian on the field. On the football field, he was a dedicated yet humble athlete who showed strength and surprised many with his speed despite his size. Brian was the kind of athlete you wanted to be a part of your team. He joined the high school football team as an eighth grader and became the starting varsity fullback as a freshman. On the sidelines, you could hear his mother from what seemed like miles away cheering on her son. His father, a proud member of the 1997 chain gang, would always volunteer to run the chains to be as close to the action as possible. He even had his future father-in-law in the crowd watching him play. Brian received many awards and accolades during his football career. He was awarded the Mike Riz Player of the Year trophy at the end of the Hoosick Jury game in 1997. Brian continued in his athletic career as part of the varsity track and field team as a 100 meter and 200 meter sprinter, a me member of the four by 100 relay, as well as competing in the shot put and discus. After high school, Brian worked hard and fought through life to become an out outstanding husband, father, and entrepreneur. He was always there for his children's games, cheering on the sidelines, encouraging and coaching them through the games and through life. He loved to watch his children, Gracelyn, Brayden, Anthony, Charlotte, and Nolan, participate in sports, but most importantly, find their own passions in life, which he always fully supported. ceremony here at halftime. We're going to take a break here now and we're going to be back with second half action uh, in just a moment. All right. Here we go. We're going to start the second half of action. Opening kickoff. And it's a squibber. Belchertown will cover it up uh, at the 38-yard line where they'll take over first and 10 here to start the second half. Well, keys for the Hurricanes going forward here. Clean it up. Protect that ball. Limit the penalties. And we're in the game. Some room and the edge. Nice Dascom comes up and oh, nice! Oh, stays on his feet. Good run by Dascom. He's going to have a first down. He was stopped at the line of scrimmage there by number sixty-four. Who's like Valley? I think that's Yep. Witted. And, but he got away. And enough for a first down. We're about your town. Yeah, he runs tough. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. You got it from over that side. Pick of about four. And it brings up now, it's 
Second down and six in Belchertown. First possession of the second half, and they are moving. And they are. They're bringing it right, right at Hoosick Valley now here. Not trying to control that front. And there's a handoff to Dascom. Tough runner down. He stays on his feet. There wasn't a lot there. Well, he's breaking that first tackle. So right. And he, he can can tackle him. He picks up a uh, good three yards on the play down uh, to the Hoosick Valley 36 yard line. So yeah, brings up a second, second and a long seven for Belcher Town here. If you're just joining us, we're tied here at eight apiece. And a pass out into the flat. Oh, oh coming up tackle. hard. Beautiful open field tackle there. Aiden Wicks. Aiden Wicks, number 12. And you're, Dan, he really read that well and came up in a nice tackle. Go, that turns into a third and 13. A big defensive play there. For the Hurricanes. Well, it's a third and 13 situation. You got some movement. Yeah, I don't know if the quarterback was anticipating the snap there. So it's going to go against Belcher Town to mark off five yards and back it up. So it's again, now I'll make it third and 18. <coughs> the ball spotted down at the 47 yard line of Pusik Valley. They need to get down to the 29 for a first down. I'm expecting a passing down. Pusik's got to get some uh, pressure on this quarterback. Oh, and sweet. There's the give on a sweep. Oh, ball's on the ground and covered up on the recovery. Pusik Valley will take over on the recovery. That was Aiden Wicks with the recovery. So Wicks has had a couple of big plays here in this second half. Right back, guys. Right back. And Hoosick Valley. Okay, first and ten now for Hoosick. Sweep. This one is sweeping wide at Tetro. Nice cut. And he cuts it up, and he's going to pick up good six, yards. six or seven yards on that carry. He's run well tonight for Hoosick Valley. It's Hoosick Valley now. Tries to get a drive going here. Their first possession of the second half. They're tied at eight apiece here. 8.30 to go in this third quarter. Back running. So first half, the Hurricanes had a lot of success with, especially with the uh, with the um, direct snap to Tatro um, and sweeping it. This one's fullback. It Mochi. is. Demochi. Oh, nice boy. Run. He really lowered his shoulder there, Don, and gets it up over midfield. Nice run there by Griffin Mochi, the sophomore. And he's got it down to the Belcher Town 48 yard line where it'll be a first new set of downs for Hoosick Valley. What I liked about that run is how quickly he hit the hole. There was no hesitation. No dancing in the hole. He just hit it and, go and gone. And again this time to Bradley. And Bradley runs it up in there. He's going to have a good four or five yards. And that was Mo uh, Mooch again. That was, was that Mooch? Yep. Yeah. All right. Four yard Sorry. Game. Running yep. that hard. Yes it was. And he picks up four, so it's a second down and six. Hoosick Valley on the move here. 
Oh, well, that's that. No, I, I, and again. That was not a bad, that, that one was on the queue. I don't think he was ready. All right. Didn't seem to be, he seemed to be looking elsewhere. Uh, that's a big mistake here. It was a guy who had a good drive going out. It brings up a third and long, third and 15. Play here for Hoosick Valley with 6.30 to go here in this first half. And again, Kastner down the sideline. Good coverage. Almost picked All off. Over. Good coverage <laughs> by uh, Landon Andre, number seven for. Belchertown, he had that covered up. So it's a fourth down situation. We've only seen one punt in this, or two punts in this. I think just one punt, to be honest with you, Dan. I expect we'll be seeing the second one right now. Right, I hope so. 6.15 to go in the third quarter. Yep, Kastner back now, the punt. And if you call, he had a nice punt there. In the yes, he did. Nice snap. Punt is away on a line. It'll work. Yes, it will. And that ball is going to roll down to about the 22-yard line where Belchertown will take over first and 10. Boy, the temperature has really dropped here. <laughs> we, got our, we got our statistician, Joker Pascas. Check. What's, what's that? 49 degrees, a balmy 49 degrees. Now, Pete's got 45. <laughs> That's an update, all right. Yeah. And the give is to Grillo. Grillo hit hard, he looks running hard over that right side for Belchertown. It's gonna, nice run, picks up about four yards. Five yards on the carry, so it'll be a second down and five. Grillo, a nice hard run, gets it out uh, to the 31 yard, uh, 20, I'm sorry, 26 yard line. He needs to get to the 31 for a first down. Clock continuing to run here. We're tied at eight apiece. And they missed him in the backfield. They had Grillo back there, but he squirts away. And he's a nice run. He's run hard. It looked like uh, Lance Wood had had him for about a two-yard loss, but he broke that tackle and ended up picking up the first down. Yeah, both teams done in this ball game have moved the ball, but both have had their share of mistakes. Give up the middle, running room there for Dascom, Chris Dascom. Picked up about another eight. So they're starting to rip off some ch chunks of yardage here. And that brings up second down, second and we'll make it three for Belchertown. The ball spotted at the Hoosick Valley 44 yard, I'm sorry, at the Belchertown 44 yard line. Stays on his feet. Yes, he does. He breaks away. And he's going to be dragged down from behind. He stayed on his feet, Daskum. And he broke that ball all the way down inside the 30 yard line. He has run hard tonight. Yeah, like I mentioned it earlier. The first tackler is not taking him down. 
Four minutes to go here in this third quarter and Belchertown on the move. And here goes Andre. Yeah, nothing there this time as a host of Hurricanes with a gang tackle. Well, that's how they're going to have to tackle them going forward here, especially the Dascom kid. But there are eight of them on the tackle that time. Yeah, no, nothing, <clears throat> no gain there on that one. And it brings up a second and ten. Come on, Dixie! For Belchertown with the ball down at the 27-yard line of Hoosick Valley. Big drive for the Orioles of Belchertown. This has been a quick third quarter. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Come on, O! Drive it home! Drive it home! That's it. That's it. Man. And there goes Daskum again. Man, he's run hard tonight. Mucci coming up on the play <coughs> on, with the tackle. Come on, Going to have 35 here. Jacan Vasquez was also in the vicinity. Third down, third and four. Third and four. And a Grillo, he's got enough for the first down. And he's going to bring it down inside the 15-yard line. They're running hard now. Ball spotted at the 13-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for Belchertown with 2.14 to go in this third quarter. And the give to Daskum. Yeah, they're just starting to wear them down up front. Right. Give credit to that Belchertown old line. Pick up another five or six there. Tackle that time by yep. Witted. Yeah, Witted in on the play. <coughs> yeah, nice play there. Brings up another third and three situation for Belchertown. It's a big defensive play here now for Music Valley. This is a big play for both teams. Well, you assume Belchertown's going to got two shots at getting about four yards here. Give is to Daskum again. It's going to be short. I don't think he got there, so going to bring up a fourth and short. Fourth and about a yard <coughs> here. All right, this is a huge play. All right, about a yard. Our spotter, Jeff Kurpaska, maybe even <laughs> less than a yard. Come on, guys. <laughs> seven inches. Here we go. And the give again, and got the room, edge. and Daskum will get it to the end zone for the touchdown. And he puts Belcher Town ahead here, 14-8. A huge two-point conversion try here. Yes. <clears throat> With 24 seconds to go in this third quarter. Belchertown takes the lead here, 14 to eight, and pending this two-point conversion. And this time, Landry, did he get in? He did, they gave it to him. Boy, it looked close, but they gave it to him, and that's a huge two-point conversion. You said, Don, and that gives Belchertown the eight-point lead, 16 to eight with 24 seconds to go here in this third quarter. Play. That, was, that was a great drive by Belchertown. They went about 80 yards and uh, a lot on the legs of uh, Daskum um, who ran real hard. Oh, 
Okay, will Hoosick Valley be able to respond here, Don? This is a test for them now. Like you said, they've been moving it all night. And that short squib kick picked up there. By Tatro. By Tatro. Stays on his feet. Got some running room down the sideline. He's got some room. He's got room. And he stays on his feet. And he's finally knocked out inside the 30-yard line. Looks like the uh, kicker got him. Huge return here for Uzik Valley. He picked up that short squib kick. And he knew what to do with it. So they're going to spot it at the 30-yard line where it will be first and 10 for Hoosick Valley with 14 seconds to go. The Hurricanes trying to respond here. Well, nice answer, but now you, now you got to finish and uh, see what these young guys can do here. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Tatro, he's sweeping. Got a little room. On the sideline. He's got room. He's going to pick up, oh, about three yards on the play. <laughs> Maybe five down to 25-yard line. Into the third quarter. And that's going to do it for the third quarter play here at Renfrew Park. The score after three is Belchertown 16 and Hoosick Valley 8. And how you really review this game? Both Again, both teams have moved the ball offensively. Mistakes have been the killer, especially for Hoosick Valley here. Some missed snaps, some penalties. They've moved the ball effectively when they've had it. They have. They're, so they're sitting here at second and seven. They're in great field position. they got to answer. Um, most of their luck's been on the, on the sweep game and uh, had a little bit of luck with the passing game as well. Right. So when we resume here, start of the fourth quarter, Hoosick Valley will have the ball. And second down and five with the ball spotted at the 25-yard line of Belchertown. Hoosick Valley trails here, 16-8, trying to get the equalizer. Tight formation for Hoosick Valley. Kastner with the signals up the middle of the Mucci. Not a lot He's there. Not a lot there is right. He really ran into a wall of Belchertown defenders. Picked up maybe a couple yards on the play. Yeah, third and about two. That's it. We're in four down territory, no question about that. Oh. Tonight we're always in four down territory. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, both, both, these, teams, both these teams have been loath to punt the football. <laughs> and again, the Mochi. He's going to go hard up the middle. He's got the first down. I believe he's got enough there, Don. Yes, he does. They're going to move the chains. First down. Behind Griffin, the right side of the hurricane line. Tough run up the middle. Let's go, G! Go, G! Once again, we want to thank Northern Berkshire Community Television for the broadcast of tonight's high school football action between Belchertown and Hoosick Valley from Renfrew Park and Adams and our producer <coughs> and cameraman, Peter Gentile. And a give. This is so time to Bradley. Not a lot there, but he still surges ahead. He's got a couple of yards on the carry. Yeah, he'll. Not taken down by about three or four Orioles. Got it down to about the 15 yard line. That brings up now second down, second and seven for Music Valley. This is a key drive for them, Donnie. Got to try to get it in here. 
Yeah, got to answer that last touchdown here. Here we go, guys. It's be tough. It's be tough. Go, G. Give the Tamuji. Oh, stays on his feet, but great penetration there by Dascom. Oh, no, that was Grillo on the penetration for Belchertown, and there was nothing there for Muji. Nothing there. Big defensive play there for Belchertown. Oh, I think they got to get it on the edge here. They, they got to get it outside and use their speed. It's been, it's been tough all day to try and run up the gut. Get ready, guys. Here we go. Be tough. Let's get a stop here. And chest are back oh, to had him early. He had him early. Him. Still on his feet. Tech the ball. And he's going to be brought down for a loss. Like you said, he looked like, looked like he had Joseph early. But couldn't find him. Well, brings up a big fourth down play. It'll be fourth and ten for Uzik Valley. Come on. Get out, Get As that Belcher Town defense has stiffened. See if they go with Bradley here. Singled up on the outside. They're going into the into the top side. They got him! And oh. touchdown! He He's it. in. They call it. He broke. That he was in the end zone with possession of the ball. And they call it for a touchdown. Well, he did catch it. There was no question yeah. about that. The question was, he in the end zone? Right. And all that all it has to do is that ball just has to break that plane. Right. And a big fourth down touchdown pass. Kastner to Bradley, makes the score. Belchertown 16, Hoosick Valley 14, and that was a huge play. And that's really what the question is. Uh, you know, we couldn't see it from this angle, but he definitely caught the ball and had possession of it. The question was, before he fumbled it, was he over the end line? Well, he got a, got a good matchup over here um, and got him singled up on the outside and uh, took advantage of it. That was, a, I think, it's a, is that the second touchdown pass? It is. Throws a nice ball for a freshman down. No question about it. So, I guess biggest play of the game here. This is for the tie. It's two-point conversion. Hoosick Valley taking a timeout and you can understand that. They want to make sure they have everything set for this play. Nice response. Yeah, they came right Stop back down, no question about it. Here we go, that's that, that series was started by the big return by Tatro. On the kickoff. Yep. Stalled a little bit in the middle there, and then uh, a nice play at the end. Again, I think they got to get it to the edge here. Well, they're going to go right up the middle. Tamuchi, he's in. in. And we're nice tied job. at 16 apiece. Beautiful blocking up front by that offensive line for Hoosick Valley. And with 825 to go in this game, we're tied at 16 apiece. We thought this was going to be a, a tight game, and it's proven out to be that. A great job up front by the, by the Hurricanes. Hurricanes were kind of getting getting pushed around there for a little bit up front. And uh, they, I, I don't think he got touched on that one either. No, so. no it was a fine blocking up front. It was 8.25 to go. We're tied at 60 apiece. Oh, now the Hurricane defense has to step up. Very, very competitive contest here between these two fine high schools. And as we said, uh, The young, young Hoosick Valley team, they responded. You know, they could have folded up after that Belcher Town score, but they came right back to tie this game at 16 apiece. And Griffin Mucci will do the kicking here again for 
Six Valley with Dascom and Grillo back deep for the Orioles. And it's a squib kick. Oh, touched ball on the ground, picked up by Dascom. And Dascom is brought down at about the 35 yard let's line go, where Belchertown will take over go, first and 10 here, with eight, eight minutes and 20 seconds to go here in this ball game. <laughs> Belchertown had a lot of success just running up the gut that last series, so. Take it home, guys. Take it home. See how they adjust. Andre back to oh. pass. Gets away from the pressure. And he's going to be very near the first down. He's going to pick up about eight yards on that scramble. He looked like they had him down and he slipped away. Brings up now, yeah, seven. It brings up a second down and second and eight now. Ball spotted at the 42-yard line. Make it second and seven. Second and three, I mean. Ball at the 42-yard line of Belcher Town. They need to get it to the 45 for the first down. Snap back, here's Dascom. And he's got the first down. He has been a workhorse here in this ball game for Belcher Town. Yeah, he's, he's had a nice game for him. He, he said it earlier. <clears throat> first guy usually doesn't get him down. He gets ahead of steam, watch out. Back to pass, oh, and he's sacked. Oh, coming in there. It's Tatro and yep. Makai Witted. Yep, Ty Witted. Number 50 also right back, guys. in on go. the action for Husik Valley. Oh. Jacob Borowski, number 50, he came flying in there as well. And that's a big defensive play for Husik Valley. On the sack, pushing. Belchertown all the way back to the 38 yard line. That's a loss. That's a loss of nine yards on the play. So it's a second down and 19. And here comes Grillo. Oh. And he's tackled by Borowski again. And Hakes. Looks like Hakes yeah. is down. Yeah, he's down. Will Hakes. Looks like he's trying to get it, and he's going to get up. In a third and 11. Third and 11. Oh. He's, he's, he's shaking up, but he's staying in there. Will Hakes, the safety. Yeah. Again, Dascom. Dascom. Nice Step tackle. Off. Nice open field tackle Made there. That tackle. Didn't get the number on that, Don, but. Looked like it was. It looks like it was Tatro. No? 20, 23? 23. I'm sorry. You're going to have fourth and nine. Yeah. Number 23, Isaac Campbell on the play there. Oh, he's, he, he went to school on that one. He wasn't going high on Dascom in the. Uh, Went low and got him down. 6.02, timeout on the field here by Belgertown. 6.02 to go in the ball game is a big fourth down play. The question is, what is Belgertown gonna go for it here? Oh, they have the kicker going in, so. The, the, the number 60 kicks off for them, so I'm not sure if he's their uh, Punter they haven't that. punted yet, have they? Belcher Town, I don't think they've no. punted yet in this game. My recollection. Just hard to turn the ball over at the 50 in the 16-16 game. Right. So the 60 is back deep to kick. 
And Huzik's gonna play it safe, I think. Yeah, Huzik's yeah, playing it safe. They gotta punt it. And nice nobody kick. back. Get away, get away. Nobody <laughs> covered it. And so. Nobody covered on the punt, so Huzik Valley pinned all the way back to their, I think they're gonna spot that down back at the 10 yard line. You just see it, they'll spot it. And I th again, I think Huzik was just playing it safe there. Um, yeah. First they had, a, yeah, they had a miscue earlier on a punt return. Right, they got 90 yards to go with 552 to go in this game. <coughs> We're tied at 16 apiece. And do we have an overtime situation here? <laughs> and give is Bradley. Oh, still on his feet? Yep. He's Nice run. Spins ahead. Looked like he was met. A yard or two there. and uh, Yeah, and he ended up picking up nine yards on the, the, the carry. Manal Bradley, the freshman. The tough run for Uzik Valley. And brings up a second down and one. Second and one for Uzik Valley. Give up the middle, Mucci. and Mucci looks like he's got enough for the first down. They will give it to him. And they'll move the chains. So it's a new set of downs for Husik Valley. First and 10, they get it out to the 20 yard line. Well, an old fashioned Husik Valley six minute drive here wouldn't. Well, <laughs> we're gonna see. Music Valley was in the shadow of their own goal. Mucci, Mucci again. Nice yeah, run. He's got another nice run. He's really starting to. Having some success up the middle. Chew up some yardage. Ball out to the 27 yard line. It's going to be a pickup of seven. That's a second down and three situation now for Hoosick Valley. That young hurricane line giving some uh, some movement up front. Approaching the four minute mark in this ball game. And they barrel ahead. And he could be close. He's gonna be short, I think. Now, it's gonna be about a yard short. So brings up a third and one situation. Clock continuing to run. 3.45 to go in the ball game. Well, your situation now, you run up the middle, you can break a tackle here or there, you might be gone, because they're gonna come at you with everything. All right. And it's Bradley, oh, hard run, he's got the first down. Rides up over the 30 yard line at about the 33, so new set of downs for Hoosick Valley. And the clock's running, we're at under uh, 3.20. Yep. Hochi back deep. Yeah. Oh, good push. Get a great push. push up front by that Offensive line for Hoosick Valley. Getting their second life here. Yeah, that's a pickup there of uh, six yards. Second down and four now. 2.40 to go in this ball game. Question is, will Hoosick Valley have enough time? Tight formation. Give. Oh. He got away, he's and he's got the first through. down. Yeah. Squirmed away near the 47-yard line, so that's another 
Looks like that's going to be enough for the first. It is. And another set of downs for Hoosick Valley. And now a timeout on the field. Timeout that's going to go to, to Belchertown. So Hoosick Valley has really, this drive started at their own 10-yard line. And they have really responded. You know, with this tight formation and, and Belchertown coming with 10 men in the box, you, know, you, might be, you might be able to free up a tight end on the seam here. Yep. I think that's kind of what the, the play they hit earlier in the game with Bradley for their first touchdown. Right. Right now, guys, here we go. Let's get tough, here we go. Okay, first and 10 for Hoosick Valley. Ball spotted at their 47 yard line. 2.23 to go in this ball game. We're tied at 16 apiece. Been a very competitive football game. Spread out this time. Sweet. Oh, and teacher got away. And he's dragged Still down. Up five. Broke a tackle he there. He broke a tackle, yeah. exactly. He was caught in the backfield but got away. Well, I don't know if he got out of bounds or not. I think he did that. Stop the clock. To stop the clock. The clock started back up. The ball is across midfield down to the 48-yard line of Belchertown. We're approaching the two-minute mark go. to go Here in this go. ball Let's game. Stop. Set. Everybody's set, and here comes Kastner. Kastner able to get away. Going to turn the corner and get out of bounds. Well, they're going to call him inbounds. He's down to the 46-yard line where they'll spot it. Right, going to be Let's third and about here. two or one right. two? Yeah, uh, three. I'll say it's three. He's got to get down. He's at the ball spot, the 46. He's got to get it to the 43. <coughs> the but most importantly, yep. He wasn't able to get out of bounds, so. I... Down to a buck 30. Right now, guys, yep. right now. Here we go, here we go. Got to pick up the first here. And back to pass. Oh. Down the middle, what it's caught. <laughs> oh, what a catch by Bradley. Down at the 30 yard line. He went up high for that down. Yeah, it, it looked like he uh, looked like he had overthrown <laughs> that one. <laughs> Minute ten to go, and who's Valley now? Down to <laughs> that's a good question. Get a stop here, guys. Here we go. We're at the one minute mark now. And Kastner dumps it over the middle. There's running room nice there. Pot. Nice run by Tatro, I believe. With 47 seconds to go, Tatro. A little dump pass by Kastner to Tatro, and he's inside the 10 yard line, down to the eight yard line where it's first and goal for Hoosick Valley with 47 seconds down. Well designed play there. Well designed play, a nice, nice run after the catch. He uh, made a nice cut back inside to pick up some additional yardage. Wow, this drive started all the way back at the Hoosick Valley 10 yard line with about six minutes to go in this ball game and they're knocking on the door here with 47 seconds to go. It's be first and goal from the eight yard line. And I think I did call for a six minute old fashioned. Yes, you, yes you did, yes you did, <laughs> yes you did Down. Oh, here we are, 47 seconds, Hoosick Valley, a chance to Take the lead here. We thought this would be a whale of a game, and it certainly has turned out that way. Yeah, two right now, right two now, evenly matched ball clubs here. Mucci. And a give to Mucci. He stays on his feet. He was hit in the backfield. He's going to get 
a couple yards. The clock is running. What do you think? <laughs> In tight. Give again. Timeout. Very close. Gives a timeout. And they're going to call a timeout with 25 seconds to go. Looks like and the ball looks like it's going to be spotted down at about the two-yard line, Don, where it will be third and goal for Hoosick Valley with 25 seconds to go. I don't know how many timeouts. I think they're out. I do believe they're out. Yeah, I think there was a signal. So you call you call two plays in the huddle. You got time, or you got third down, right? So you got time for two plays. Yeah, I think there was a signal that Hoosick Valley is out of timeouts. Well, it's a great experience for a young club here. You're 16-16, you got 25 and a half seconds left. You're inside the five, you call two plays. Well, this has been a real, real, real wonderful drive for Hoosick Valley here. So, here we go. 25 seconds to go. I believe Hoosick Valley now out of timeouts. The ball is marked at the two yard line where it is third and goal. And if you say, you call two plays and we'll see. So here we go. Kastner under center. The give is up and in for the touchdown. Griffin Mucci, the two yard touchdown, a 90 yard drive down. And Hoosick Valley has taken a lead. 22 to 16. Wow. This young Hurricane team was pinned back deep with six minutes to go in the ball game, and they put together a 90 yard drive to take the lead 22 to 16 with 22 seconds to go in this ball game. This is a real, real confidence builder for this young team. No question about that. Yeah. So as you said, that in that drive. Oh, oh, movement. Nope. Movement. Nope. By Uzi Valley. They'll back that up. Back to about the eight. So with 22 seconds to go in this ball game, Hoosick Valley with the six point lead, 22 to 16, pending this two point conversion that will take place back at the eight yard line. And yeah, he had him out in the flat, couldn't get away with too much pressure. So. The two-point conversion is no good in Hoosick Valley with a six-point lead. They will kick off now to Belchertown. Belchertown. Well, Belchertown's going to have a chance for, obviously, the return. I'm assuming Hoosick's going to squib kick it here. But they have a chance to get three, four plays off. Right. I think they got their timeouts left, so. I believe they only used one timeout. Well, we'll see. don't think Hoosick's going to kick it deep, so my gut feeling tells me, you know, Belchertown's probably going to get the ball somewhere on the 40, 45 yard line. Right, so they'll be... So they'll, they'll have, have a shot. They'll have a chance to take a, a few shots down the field here. Good time to kick it deep if you can. And they kind of do. Oh, it drops in. You know, it picked up by Grillo. Looking for room. Oh. Uh, that's Dascom, and he's brought it's down. Right. Uses up a lot of time, Don. He's caught at the 40-yard line with 14 seconds to go. The biggest takeaway from that was the, he, t he took out almost eight seconds. Right. So, um, which now limits you to two possibly two, if you're lucky, a third play. So you tell your 
Tell your DBs, no one gets behind you here. Everything stays in front of you. Sixty-two for Belcher Town out here. Well, pin your ears back if you're a D lineman and go get them. Right is deep coverage for Uzik. Andre landed back to pass. Oh, oh, and he's sacked. And they're gonna call a timeout with five seconds to go. That looked, looked like that was number 50. Was, was that 50 again? Was that Borowski? He's had some big plays here defensively down the stretch. Yeah, number 50 is Jacob Borowski. Well, he got a chance, to, time well, for one play one here. One more play with five seconds to go. And if Music Valley can come out of here with this victory, big vi win for them this year. Huge win. You know, games like this, win or lose, these these are learning experiences for these guys, and uh, you know they're going to take something from every one of these games. So, obviously, much nicer to win. Exactly. Yeah. All right, here we are. Five seconds to go. Hoosick Valley with the six-point lead, 22 to 16. And once again, we're thanking Northern Berkshire Community Television for the broadcast of tonight's high school football action here at Renfrew Park between the Belchertown Orioles and the Hoosick Valley Hurricanes. And it's been a dandy. So last play here for Belchertown. Deep coverage for Hoosick Valley. They want anybody to get behind them. And he's got to get it out. He's got to wing it. He can't run it. And he doesn't oh. do it. And that's going to do it. Don, that's it. Who's like Dolly? Comes away with the victory. Tackle out of bounds by uh, Matt Wittick. End the game. Yep. 22 to 16. Who's like Dolly with a big, big win for this young football team? Well, you and I talked earlier, Tim, about, about this season with them. We knew there were going to be some downs. Knew there might be some ups, um, but hey, they battled tonight and they came away with a win. Um, just stick together, be competitive, and, and get some wins here and there. So, great job. It great certainly job. did. You know, when you really look out there on the field, Don, so many freshmen and sophomores out there playing. It really is a testament to the coaching staff and to this young team sticking together, like you said. And there's going to be no question about bright future for this program with these young players. They really had a great game. Okay, that's going to do it here from Renfrew Park in Adams. The final score is Hoosick Valley 22, Belchertown 16 for Don Wright and Peter Gentown, Tim Morris saying good night.